Smallmouth. I need to catch a smallmouth. If you're watching this, I'm probably back in Illinois or Texas, running around, jumping on airplanes, catching fish or something like that. But right now, I am in Massachusetts still. It's the day after I filmed that Google video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was like one of my favorite videos I think I've ever filmed. And it was so simple and it was so straightforward, but I loved it so much and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, anyway, cut to the chase. It is the afternoon. This is the last day in Massachusetts. As you can see, over to my left, the sun is setting so beautifully behind those pine trees. Isn't that freaking picturesque? I am in the middle of a forest right now. This is actually a spot that was recommended to me by a friend named Colton. And Colton said, you know, there's some pretty good small here. I've actually fished here once before, didn't catch a whole lot of big ones. But he said, if you try it out, you have a good chance of catching a big small. I'm not gonna pass up that opportunity. So here I am now. I've got one rod and some baits and I'm gonna see what happens. Today's gonna be a for fun day. Okay, I gotta be quick, I only got a few hours. Enough blabbering, let's catch some fish. all I got. I got a bag of plastics, a box of some baits, including some striper stuff, and a rod and reel. No guarantees. I'm just happy if I get one little small jaw, but right now I'm going to scope it out, scope the scene out, and see if I can't find some fish. Wow, this water is pretty high. This spot is crazy. Look at this. I feel like I'm in Ontario right now. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in Lake of the Woods. This is craziness. I've actually fished this spot one other time. The only problem was I didn't bring like too many GoPro batteries and the bite was pretty, it was pretty mundane. I caught like a bunch of little ones. It wasn't crazy. There's a fish. I'm on. Oh, he spit it. Well, that was quick. First cast, first bite. Caught me off guard while I was blabbering on the Ned. Felt small, didn't feel big. Anyway, yeah, I fished here before. I filmed a bit. It wasn't anything psycho. So I just scrapped it. Is that another one? I got another one. This one feels a little bit better. Second cast. Oh, little. Little one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What is this? Nice. Smallmouth. <laughs> I got what it came for. I love the Ned Rig. It catches fish, but a lot of smaller fish tend to gravitate towards this tiny presentation, which isn't a bad thing. It, you know, it's just, it means you're just going to catch a lot of fish. A lot of them might be small. Good one. Good start to the day. Smiley jaw. Whoosh. That was a morning tide release off the rocks. Boom. Right about now is my favorite time to catch smallmouth. I think it's pretty much everyone's favorite time to catch smallmouth just because they're really coming out of their, their spring cold water holes and they're starting to spawn. The odds of getting some big ones up shallow are pretty likely. I usually spin for smallies. That's kind of like my thing. I don't really focus too much on anything else. Using light line, seven foot one rod, seven foot rod. Just getting after it, you know? A little turd action. Come on, come on, hooked up, oh, smolly. <laughs> God, get in here, this is how it was last time I fished this place, only I was using poppers, and these little guys were coming up and eating the popper like three pound smallmouth. They're fun to catch, I mean, the fact that they're small make it cool. If they were largemouth, I would be kind of like unamused, but I'm a big fan of smollies. Like, look how pretty that fish is. So cool. Get back down there, Pudge. There he goes. So this is the bait of choice the go-to for me when I'm fishing deep, clear water, and the smallmouth are just starting to move up. It's pretty simple, and it's no secret, but it's just a little Ned rig. Nice weighted jig head, usually with a light wire hook, sharp hook, and then just one of these tiny hunks of plastic that look like legitimately like a, a piece of poop. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why they call it the TRD, which is like short for turd, not like Toyota Racing Development. It's just, <laughs> it's just turd, and that's all it is. It's got pretty much no action, minimal movement. A lot of people right now on the tube are using these. I think Parrot just did a video on this. And it gets them. There's no zest, there's no flair to this rig. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it absolutely smokes them, man. It gets them good. That's why I'm throwing it too. Caught some big fish on the turd. The turd has no mercy. It takes no prisoners. There's one, I'm hooked up, I got him. Ooh! Did you get snapped? Oh, I just got broke off. Whoa, not a small fish. That's not freaking cool at all. That bite felt pretty hefty. Oh, there you have it, guys. Ned rig. It's a go-to. They like it so much, they want to keep it. Ooh, boy. There's one. Oh, had him. 
Missed him. Popped him off. Ooh, it's like a little bluegill or something. What is this? This is this can't be a smallmouth. Oh, it's a perch. Whoa! Didn't think I'd catch one of those today. You like Ned Bud? I bet a lot of the bigger smallmouth in here will eat these perch. These are like snacks, smally snacks. Really pretty fish. Look at him sticking to his dorsal like that's gorgeous. Cool perch. I'll take it. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Not a bad one either. Oh yeah, not a bad one. Matt, look at this thing. It's not even 12 inches and look how it's pulling. This is why small are so much fun is they've just got so much strength in them. Angsty smallies, that's not bad. That's not bad. There's not a whole lot of big fish in here, at least to my knowledge. Um, you know, my friend Colton did say that there are some, some chunkers in here, but I'm not expecting to catch like a sturgeon bay or like a millilax toad. I have like two hours of fish and I just want to get bit. And you know what this is? This is mission accomplished. Nice one. Sorry, you guys are kind of high, but hopefully you can see this. Smolly jaw. Got that smolly jaw. Peace out, Bubba. Smolly release. Kicked and gone. That's so much fun. I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of my bites on the initial drop. Like that bait goes down, I give it one or two twitches, and then boom, it's just on. That leads me to believe that these fish are kind of keen in on any sort of big motion, opposed to like the little twitches, like they're like honing in on that drop. And once they get on top of that bait after it's at the bottom, they're kind of waiting for its next move. And after I've hopped it two times, that's like their cue to eat. They're like, boom, I'll eat it. So kind of cool. You always have to play it by ear with smallmouth, depending on whether or not they want a Ned Rig or a shaky head or jerk bait or drop shot, you have to mess around. Like smalls can be very particular, but once you find the right bait, it can be just like blue hot. It could be so on. And that's the cool thing about small. It's like once you've cracked the code, you're you're free. You're home free. Anyway, that was cool. Nice fish. Not bad. Thanks, Smalley. <laughs> There's one, little one. Maybe another perch. I think that's another perch. Unless it's a tiny smallie. What do we have here? New species, rock bass. We're getting all the northern species. Smallmouth, perch, and now rocky. <laughs> all I need to do is to catch a, a muskie and a pike now. I'm gonna throw a topwater here in a hot sec. Just abandon the whole bottom bait bite. Go out with a swing, go out with a bang. Okay, last ditch. It's like 7.30 right now. I have a few minutes left to fish. I think I'm gonna go out with a bang here. I'm gonna toss the, the plug out, the OG $1. This thing has seven pounder written all over it. A few more slings up here. Whoa, that one's decent. That's a pretty decent smallmouth. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump. That was intense. He's pulling good. Get over here. Oh yeah. Biggest one of the day, no doubt. Top water paid off. A little football. A little football, Smolly. Get up on the bank, Bubba. One dollar popper strikes. I love this bait. Something about the one dollar popper and smallmouth, they just go together. I don't get it, but these fish, they love this bait. This is the same color that I always throw. It's a little frog pattern, makes no sense. These fish just tend to love it. That's a good one and a half pounder. I had absolutely no expectations today. This is Beyond cool, beyond cool. That's a good one. Mm, heavy little fish. Oh, gorgeous, man. Nothing beats summer smallies. That was rad. Oh man, I started to lose some faith there. I was like, oh my God, they're not eating the chick yet. I run out of Ned Rigs. I'll just throw the popper on. The popper never fails me. Boom, just like that, I got smoked. And now I'm woke, I'm awake. Let's keep tossing. We're not done yet. We got this. Next is gonna be a four pounder. That was gnarly. That was gnarly. Look at him go. <laughs> Dude, acrobatics. I'm pretty sure I saw that I saw that same fish right in front of me. Early when I had that bigger one, I saw a little one swim right past. I think this might be the one. What the hell? Smallies for days, baby. Smallies for days. Intense blow-ups. No largemouth is gonna do that. I don't care freaking how aggressive the fish are where you live. These guys have like trout DNA in them, I swear. They move like trout. When you hook them, they go back crazy, man. Like a freaking 
Hellbat. Oh, you're juiced. You're juiced, little bud. Pew! Okay, I am going to do a zone switch. I'm gonna head off this rock and then patrol on over to another. And I think from there I'm gonna end today. And after that, I wanna show you guys how I caught these fish because it's kinda cool to go over the tactics, the tips and tricks of John B's dusty smallmouth presentations. This is gonna be the last spot I'm gonna fish. It looks good. I just want one nice fat big end on the top water. I saw this spot from across the way and it looks really good for top water. Like really good. Oh yeah, this looks so good. Come on, big smolly, big smolly. Big afternoon smolly. Oh, just got popped. Come on, hooked up, little one. Oh, tail walking like a tarpon. Smallmouth have so many tricks up their sleeve. They do like 30, 50 different jumps just in one hookup. Not the one I'm after, but I'll take it. Definitely have the numbers done today. I've only fished for like probably an hour and a half and I've gotten right around 10 or something like that. Not bad for a body of water. I barely fish. Hooked up, hooked up. Oh, last minute, last minute jump. All these smalls are eating head first. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Look at that, head first, going for the front hooks. That means they're pissed. That means they are pissed. Oh, that's, that's a particular spot to get hooked, little guy. Long, look how long that fish is, gosh. Back down he goes. Cool thing about this popper is it's very subtle. It's similar to the Ned Rig. It's not like you're throwing a big walk the dog bait or like a heavy duty buzz bait. It's, it's a bait that usually gets bit when they're not really honed in on much else. Like it's very subtle, it's got a really nice rattle to it. And it gives off just the right amount of splash, like just a little bloop. And that's it. Enough to get their attention, but not too much to like, you know, spook them if they do nose the bait. That's why I love this little guy. And I usually throw it on spinning gear, which is kind of unorthodox for a lot of anglers. Usually bass anglers will throw um, poppers and, and spooks on casting. But I like spinning because this bait's pretty light. And to get it out there with casting, you, you need, you have to have a little bit of bend in your rod. And it's just, it's more fun on spinning. Smallmouth on spinning, and you add top water to the equation, it's just a blast. Like, I'm out here right now to have fun. Like, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not being like, oh, here's how you get on, you know, this is how you pattern summer small. It's like, no, no, no. This is just me having a blast here. I just want to catch some fish. And meanwhile, film a video for you guys. That's all we're out here doing. Well, I mean, I'm gonna need to retie. My line is super frayed. Oh, enough talking. Oh, it's a freaking jumper. It's a jumper. There we go. All right, on that note, on the last cast of the day, I'm gonna call it best way to end the trip on a small mouth. Stripers in the morning, small in the afternoon. Ooh. Boom. Okay, well, I was gonna finish today's video over there, but I saw something that caught my eye and I wanna fish it. Oh, I'm hooked up. That was quick. It was like instant hookup. <laughs> I love how I was like, oh yeah, I'm done fishing. Psych. <laughs> Another smallmouth, really shallow spot here. Like barely any water, but the water's clear. A lot more bait over here. I can see a big one coming out of this spot, no doubt. Sunset smallies. Sunset smallies. Oh, get in there. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys for the view. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do my outro in the middle of the street because that seems really safe. No. Totally kidding. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was an action packed. I know it was short and I caught a lot of small, small mouth, but it's real. It's, this is real fishing. This is what happens when you fish. I don't know about you guys, but I don't go out and catch the biggest small mouth every time I fish. And, and I especially don't catch like the biggest striper or the large mouth. This is like fishing. And that's really what I've been trying to do with my videos recently. I just want to be completely truthful with you guys, blatantly honest and show you like just a day out in the water. Like I'm not gonna not post this because I didn't catch a, a freaking giant. And lately I've really been trying to focus on the realism in my videos, especially when it comes to when I'm fishing, like filming a fishing day. Because I don't want you guys to think that every time I come out here, I smoke them. In fact, many times I'll go out here and get skunked or catch like a few small fish. But really the emphasis of today's video was just like, I have two hours left. I'm in a beautiful state. The weather's amazing and I'm catching small. And that's all that matters. So I urge you guys to get out there. Hopefully some of you guys have got summer break coming up soon. Plenty of time to fish. Get on some smallies, get on some largemouth, have fun. And um, before I sign out again, 
link in the description below. There's all the baits and all the juice that I used today, especially that $1 popper. If you're not on the $1 popper train, what are you doing? You need to get on that. It's the deal. I'll catch you guys next time. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs>